Hello and welcome to Judging 101. This is the last of three videos for Judging 101 and we're going to talk about tips and tricks that you can use when you're preparing for judging. These strategies will help you be at your very best on Judging Day. There are four major things you can do to improve your judging experience. Number one, make a great impression. Dress well. Visual impressions matter. Make sure you are neat and clean. Most people dress up for judging. Make sure you are polite to all your judges. If you shake hands, give a firm handshake. Also make eye contact with your judge. Avoid chewing gum or eating during interviews. This is distracting for judges to watch. Remove distractions around you. Make sure that you turn off your cell phone and other electronics. The last thing you want is to get a phone call or a text while you're talking to your judge. Stay focused. The Canada-wide Science Fair Exhibit Hall is a busy place. Try to stay in the moment. Be fresh and excited. Smile. It helps to make a good impression. Make sure that you eat breakfast. Judging day is a long day. Drink water. You will be doing a lot of talking. Be confident. It's okay to be nervous on judging day. Even the judges get nervous. But remember, you did your project. You are the expert. Don't be afraid to explain what you've done. Get your judge on your level. Use your backboard as your guide. You can gesture to it and use it to help you keep on track. Judging is a two-way street. Have a conversation with your judge. Don't worry if you don't feel like things with one judge went as well as you had hoped. This is why you see multiple judges. It's also a great idea to be able to talk about your project for different lengths of times. We suggest you prepare three versions of your speech. A seven-minute version for excellence awards, a four-minute version for interdisciplinary awards, and a 90-second version for other judges and the public. Be humble. No one knows everything, not even the judges. Sometimes, I don't know is the best answer, but it's always better followed by but I think. It's okay to make a hypothesis. You can also show curiosity if there's something you don't know. You can say, I don't know, but I'll be the first to find out. Don't argue with your judge. It's not worth the consequences. It's okay to disagree, but make sure you stay polite and respectful of your judge and move on from the disagreement. The biggest thing to remember in judging is our ultimate secret. Make sure you tell the story of your project so your judges understand what you've done, why it matters, and why they should be excited by what it may lead to. We hope you've enjoyed the Judging 101 videos. Good luck preparing for judging and see you at the Canada-wide Science Fair.